Now, something really curious that I've come to realize about a lot of people who are detractors of Roman Chocolatito Gonzalez, um, particularly his placement atop the pound for pound rankings, is quite a few of these people, um, as far as what I've seen online, in forums, and videos, and so on and so forth, are actually guys who were big, who were or are big Floyd Money Mayweather fans, supporters. Um, followers and it's funny to me because as you probably saw in the thumbnail for this video as well as uh, the thumbnail of the video that I did when I was talking about the reason why Roman Gonzalez is the number one pound for pound and should be regarded as such I did that about a month ago is that Roman Chocolatito Gonzalez himself is a very big fan of Floyd Mayweather's he is a supporter of Floyd Mayweather's he has a ton of respect for Floyd Mayweather all the way to the extent that in spite of the fact that he is on the co-feature to Gennady Golovkin, a guy who, for all intents and purposes, has largely been at odds with uh, Floyd Mayweather in, the, in interviews in the press um, and amongst fan bases, he, Roman Gonzalez considers it, quote, an honor to see TMT present at the forum on April 23rd when Gonzalez fights against McWilliams Arroyo, a very dangerous puncher, very dangerous power punching opponent who is frankly the uncrowned IBF champion because he pretty much got robbed against I'm not wrong wrong over in Thailand. But that's besides the point. Roman Gonzalez himself is a man with a lot of respect and holding in high regard the things that Floyd Mayweather has done in boxing. And I think it's really just a case of game recognized game, real recognized real. Floyd Mayweather, 49-0. Roman Gonzalez, 44-0. Roman Gonzalez understands that it takes a lot of hard work and dedication in order to win world titles in three different weight classes against a number of world championship level opponents. Opponents like Brian Valoria, Edgar Sosa, Akira Yagashi, Francisco Rodriguez Jr., Juan Francisco Estrada, Ramon Garcia Herales, Manuel Vargas, Katsunari Takeyama, Yutaka Nida. All world championship level opponents. Whether they were champions at the time that he fought them, champions previous to when he fought them, or became champions after he fought them. Um, something that actually a lot of fighters don't necessarily get rated as highly as they really deserve to for. When you beat a fighter and then that fighter goes on to become one of the greats, that says a lot for the fact that you were able to defeat that man. Just like Roy Jones beating Bernard Hopkins before Hopkins went on to become one of the all-time greats. You know, before that, a lot of people just thought that, oh, Hopkins was just another pretty good middleweight, but not ascendant the same way that Roy was. Similar thing kind of happened with uh, Gonzalez and Estrada as as far as what we're kind of currently seeing and in, in, uh, how they've both progressed since that fight. But... Roman Gonzalez clearly respects what Floyd Mayweather does. And if you check out that the thumbnail for the other video that I did, and matter of fact, I think maybe I'll, I'll look for that article and um, put the article that included that picture in the description for this video. Floyd Mayweather thinks pretty highly of uh, Roman Gonzalez himself. I mean, before Gonzalez managed to kind of get scooped up into the whole K2 HBO situation, Floyd Mayweather was talking up Roman Gonzalez pretty heavy. And you can ask Carcino about that. You know, Carcino is the man with a lot of the inside knowledge with regard to what Floyd does. Uh, Gonzalez was, was that close to being scooped up on that side of the tracks in terms of promotions. Uh, now, of course, Gonzalez is his main promoter is still taken. They're pretty much just outsourcing the K two for his for his United States uh, promotional duties. 
So, you never know what may happen in the future with regard to once Gonzalez uh, strikes out on his own and becomes a solo act. Because that's pretty much what they're planning to do after this fight. They want to have Roman Gonzalez headlight in his own cards. So, you never know who may become involved as far as I see it. Him wanting Floyd to be there, one of the great ones, a man that he himself idolizes, that he himself deeply respects and regards as a, a great fighter and considers himself to being the, the new torchbearer for the torch that Floyd had held for all these years as the pound for pound king. Don't be surprised is all I'm saying. Don't be surprised. Regardless of whatever your personal feelings are. That's it.